Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome back to 85 Beauty Talks. I'm Keila Feller. I am the founder and CEO of 85 Beauty, and we are a makeup education company. And what we do is we help make makeup easy and accessible so that you are no longer overwhelmed and confused about makeup and instead feel like this is something that you can totally do step by step with a little guidance. So today we are doing part two of a three-part series on blush. Last week, we covered cream blush. We talked about application. We talked about where you wanna place it. And so today we're gonna to go into powder. When it comes to cream blush, what's great is that you have a lot of variety of what types of tools you can use to apply. You can use your fingers, you can use a brush, you can use a sponge. And I showed you how to use a sponge, how to use fingers. Now with powder, you definitely wanna use a brush. I have a few different formulas here, a few different colors. So let's actually talk about that first. Color with blush. There are a lot of colors that you can use. And I think what often happens is that eyeshadows feel really kind of clear cut in terms of what color you're going to put on and what seems like an area in which you can play because it's your eyes. And for whatever reason, eyeshadow just feels like, yeah, I mean, if I like it, I'll put it on. But then when it comes to blush, it's really tricky to figure out what are the colors that are going to look really good on you? What are the colors that are going to work with whatever else you're wearing? And that's the piece I wanna really bring home is that the color blush you wear is absolutely an important thing to keep track of because not every color blush works with eyeshadow colors. Not every color blush works with lip colors. and Often when there's a disconnect in your makeup, and when I say disconnect, what I mean is when you're wearing makeup and you're like, I don't know, something's a little off, something, it just doesn't look right. It's often because you are wearing too many colors that clash. So what I like to do for anyone who's just starting out is to go monochromatic. Meaning if you are going to wear a berry colored lip, wear a berry colored blush. If you're going to wear like a fiery orange lip, wear an orange blush. If you are going to wear a red lip, don't wear red blush. <laughs> and the reason why is that red tends to be a little too intense. So you can wear something that's kind of um, like a cooler tone berry, or you can do something that's going to be like a pink. When you're doing a red lip, often I like to keep the cheek color like, we're gonna get into color theory a little bit in terms of like the color wheel. I would say to go, you can go to the left or to the right in terms of like which area you wanna to go towards. Like you can go like towards pinks, you can go towards oranges, um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't go crazy. So often like that's the disconnect. If you are trying to figure out what's going on, why does your makeup look kind of off? Check your blush color, see if that's what's happening. So let's take a look at some, here. And you're going to notice that they may seem they're similar, but they're not the same. Similar, but not the same. Okay. So we're going to take a look at these two. These two colors are very similar. This one's a little bit darker, deeper, more pigmented than this one. This one's a little softer. So I want you to have an open mind and to explore when it comes to blush. And what I want you to think about, and this is super important if you have darker skin, the darker your skin, the brighter the blush you can wear. But you want to be careful not to go towards pastels. Pastels on dark skin will look chalky and ashy and no, no, don't, don't do it. But bright, actually translates really well. So the darker your skin, the more color you can wear. It looks great on us. And like our, our skin will like absorb it and it's just like, it punches, it pops, it looks beautiful. So definitely go into wearing a lot of like have fun with blush. Okay, another color, just for like some comparison. If you look at these two, right? 
This one definitely is more of a berry. This is to me like a true berry that I would, you know, like a little, little raspberry, cranberry kind of color. Notice this with my lip is like perfection, right? So, so good. Also works. It's kind of within the same color family. This is just lighter. So I just want you to notice that all of the colors I'm showing you live within the same color family. So that means all of these are going to work if I'm wearing this kind of color lip. Now, if I was wearing a red lip, this wouldn't be my go-to. With red lips, I prefer to wear an orange blush. That's just my preference for my skin tone and for what I like. Okay, so brushes. There's lots of different blush brushes. I need to wash my brushes, so like don't give me a hard time about it. It's happening tonight or maybe tomorrow. <laughs> so blush. A lot of people, I think, use a brush that is too small. This is technically a blush brush. It's a little smaller than I personally like. This is a big boy. Like she, she's real big. Now, what is different is that she's tall, right? Like notice how long these bristles are. Because of that, what is going to happen is that you have to be careful because if you press, do you notice how much it sinks in before you get to like the thickest part of the brush? And that means you're now covering a much bigger area. Do you see how? Yeah, I know you see it. I want you to notice with barely touching, this is how much space the brush takes up. When I start to press in, look at how the brush bristles spread. That is often one of the reasons that we have a hard time with keeping control of how much blush we're putting on because we press really hard and then we're spreading it all over our like entire cheek instead of just where we want it. With a smaller brush, this one is also fit, like it's more densely packed. There's a whole lot of bristles in there. So I can, it's, I have to really press to get it to spread out and I wouldn't do that, right? So what I like to do is contrary to how it looks, I like to apply blush. I'm going to use, mm, we'll do two, two different colors. We'll do, let me slow down. <laughs> we will do this on one side, this on the other side. I am already wearing blush from this morning. It's faint, but y'all know I like to over blush. And for demonstration purposes, I'll give you a lot. So what I always like to do with the brush, I like to, put the color on the side of the brush. I also like to do this with eyeshadow. When you're trying to get color on there, I like to use the side of the brush. So I press into the side and same as last time, dab the excess on the back of your hand. So then you have more control. So what I'm gonna do, I turned my cheek just so that you could see placement. But when you're doing this on yourself, Remember, like same placement technique, okay? So you're gonna look in the mirror, you wanna go from the middle of your eye straight down, find that fleshy part, sorry for the glare of the mirror, and then pull out just a little bit towards like the outer corner of your eye. And then that's where, that is where you want to start to tap on your blush, going towards that corner of the eye. And notice I am just tapping. Tap, 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 tap. I'm not swirling, I'm just tapping. Just tap the color until you can see it. Now when you can see it, I like to now go straight on, end of the bristle straight to the face and in buffing circular motions. That's how I like to blend in my blush, just like that. Now, again, I'm going to go a little heavier for you, just so that you can see. Now, I am start, I'm starting here at that starting point. But remember, think of the size of the bristles. So naturally, these bristles are looking as though they're putting blush closer into the nose that I want, but it's not. So don't worry about that, but be intentional about where you're placing your blush, okay? In person, this is actually quite a bit of blush, but on camera, it's translating a lot softer. And also straight on, do you notice how you can't really see that much, but then you turn and you can see the blushes there. That's why I'm telling you always turn your head in different directions 
into your mirror so you can truly see how it looks. Okay, let's do the other side with a darker color. So tapping in. Oh, this is pretty. And tap, 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 tap. Now the reason I like a I like a bigger, that's a lot of color. I like a bigger, I like something in the middle between these two in terms of the size of a brush for blush. I like something right in the middle of these two. Not too big, not too small. Because when it's time to blend with this color, it's just, I like, I like a larger, a larger blush brush for that. So now, end of bristles circular motions. I can also wipe any of that extra color onto the back of my hand, onto a paper towel. Remember, you have control over how much you're putting on. And then very lightly, circular motions, add that blend that in. Okay, now if you're thinking, well, that's a little brighter than this one. Of course it is because they're different colors, right? Remember, this is on this side, this is on this side. And also I do want you to notice the precision of this color. It's a lot tighter than this one because of the size of the bristles, okay? So keep that in mind. I'm going to now try to even this out a little bit so I'm going to go with the first blush color onto this side, and then with the second one onto this side. I wanna, I wanna look even, right? Now, I just noticed when I smiled, you see that, that real clear mark of like, this is where my blush is at, rude. You know what I'm saying? That's just not nice. We wanna get rid of that. I'm gonna take my brush, I'm going to wipe as much of the excess off as it can. And yeah, you, you can see the color. You'll see the color coming off, right? And I'm just going to lightly whisk right over the edge there. I did an, ah, oh, what is it? I did a reel on Instagram showing you how you can diffuse your blush if you're like, oh no, I put too much on. I often see a lot of people go with their fingers and try to wipe it off. Please don't do that because one, it's not effective. And two, the oil, the like natural oils in your fingers are going to potentially cause this to be blotchy as you're swiping across your cheek. Especially if you don't have any powder underneath your powder blush. So let's finish up with that little aspect that I want you to know. So first, you can always dip your brush into your blush brush, dip it into translucent powder and then go right over top of where you applied your blush and it will diffuse it, make it look softer and more natural so you won't be able to see exactly where the blush starts and stops. The other thing, and this is super important for powder blush, powders go best on powdered skin. That doesn't mean that if you're not going to put translucent powder on, you can't put on a powder blush. But what that does mean is if you put on foundation or concealer, or even if you have moisturizer on your face and it's still pretty like um, pretty dewy, like, you know, you, you still have that sheen to your skin. Anytime that you place a powder, it's gonna grip. Think of like when you make, um, Think of like when you make pancakes and the first time that you put any um, of the, you like pour the wet ingredients into the dry and it gets like pasty and sticky right away. That's essentially what's happening to your makeup. So when you put powder on top of cream or liquid without a little bit of powder underneath it, it has the potential to grip and stick. And that's when it looks blotchy. It's like, boom, color went right there and it's hard to move. Because of that, I really do, I, I really do like and I really do recommend that everybody has a translucent powder that you keep on hand. And then even if, especially if you are a dry skin gal and you like a dewy look, first of all, cream blush is gonna be your friend. But second, if you want to use powder blush, 
I recommend just a sheer, like the little, the, the teeniest bit, just a sheer wash of translucent powder in the areas where you want to put powder blush, and then it will glide right over and blend in seamlessly. I hope this has been super helpful. I'm gonna see you next week. Next week, we've got big things happening. Y'all, it's getting good. I just want you, like, I just want you to know we've got we've got a series coming next week. I'm gonna be on IG for a while. And I, like that's all I can tell you. That's all I can tell you for now. So don't miss out. Next week's gonna be really, really good. So in order to get all of the updates on what's happening, you need to sign up for the email newsletter. You go to 85beauty.com slash easy. You are going to get a free copy, free chapter in Secret Makeup Handbook, which is my video series that teaches you like all of this basic stuff about eyes, lips, cheeks, foundation, why your foundation doesn't work, how you can make sure it does, like all of that stuff, but you get a free chapter when you sign up for the email list and then you get all of the updates. And I'm telling you, every Sunday, I send a newsletter that talks about like the TV shows that I'm watching, the product I've been reaching for most that week, um, any of the drama that has been happening on, on the interwebs, right? Like I, I just talk about all the good stuff and you'll be the first to know about what's coming next week. So hope this has been helpful. I will see you super soon. And as always, stay fabulous. Bye y'all.